everybody. We just finished unloading, getting my trailer empty. I have an empty 53 foot flat behind me. I'm going to Fargo, North Dakota. Ooh, lots of dust getting in here. Ooh, let's close these windows. My engine fan kicks up that dust. Ah. So yes, we're headed to Fargo, North Dakota. I've got a load of pipes that's going up to Winkler in Manitoba. Gotta load that up today yet so that we can deliver it tomorrow morning. I'm already cleared across the border, so everything's all ready to go. All I gotta do is go pick it up. We don't have too much time to waste. We gotta get to Fargo, but we have enough time for a coffee and maybe some pizza. We're in Pillager at the Casey's. A regular stop of ours. Mm, this is a tight corner here. We need the whole road. There we go. Turn left right here. There she be. Oh, they got some really good pizza here. Oh, I've been thinking about it all morning. In 200 meters, turn left on Palomino Avenue. All right, Avenue. you're gonna turn call me in. Meters. Thanks, bud. Didn't have to do that. He had the right of way, but he wanted me to go first. He's a good guy. If there's just one car, I usually let the car go first, even if they, even if they want me to go, because they're gonna be faster. I'm just gonna slow you down, man. And then I'm gonna have you right behind me riding my rear end. I'd rather you just go first, you know what I mean? So I can take my time and peace. No fuel right now. We'll fuel in Fargo later. No time to fuel. Just enough time to grab coffee, pizza, And we gotta get back out there. We gotta load today yet. I wanna be in Winkler tonight. I was gonna say we're coming into Moorhead, Minnesota, but the water tower off to our right says Dilworth. Huh. Well, we're just east of, uh, east of Fargo on the Minnesota side, which to me is Moorhead, but apparently it's Moorhead and Dilworth. How Minnesota of them? Two towns side by side. So just up ahead here, I gotta make a right, go around the north side of town, across the river onto the Fargo side, the North Dakota side, where we're gonna load some pipe of some sort. It looks like drainage tile type of pipe. I'm not too sure yet though, whatever it is, we'll tackle it when we get there. It looks like I was right when I looked on I believe this is all drainage tile right we've hauled lots of this before big rolls he's actually coming with one in my mirror right there you see him he's gonna throw that on my truck I'm gonna go out there and give him a hand in 300 meters take the entrance to the ride on by 29 north so I got six rolls of that drainage tile 
style pipe. I believe that's what it's called. Very light, very, very light, easy to tie down. It's a good load. In 100 meters, take the entrance to the ride on I-29 North. Fuel prices today that are grabbing my attention are Flying J. They win my business today. Flying J Fargo and Grand Forks are both the cheapest on my route. They're both sitting at $3.34 a gallon on my fuel card. That's our rate. So we're gonna stop in Grand Forks and fill them up there. It's about 45 minutes an hour or so north of here. sides of the border like I've said this before but for the new people that's why it's my favorite place to stop doesn't matter if I'm in Canada or the United States there's flying jays everywhere except Quebec but it's Quebec what do you expect oh my look at they only have three pumps open here now I wonder what they're doing Pump 16. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I'm thirsty. Alright, so she's a little thirstier than I thought, but we did pretty good on fuel. Uh, 136 gallons, 514 liters. 38 liters per 100 kilometers, or 6.18 miles per gallon. Not too bad. And the price here in Canadian was $1.20 per liter. Okay, 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 uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. 
nice. There's all this parking over here. Where do I want to park? Where and how? See if I'm. Am I too far back? Might be. So, this 12 inch LED light bar that I ordered, it didn't fit. I tried it and it's seriously like a, a, an eighth of an inch too long. So, it didn't fit. So, I wasn't able to replace this yet. I gotta order a new one, try a different brand, I guess. Right. Still got the grill open. Or the winter front, open as much as I can. I think it's gonna be a good night here. Just wanna make sure I'm not too far back. Oh no, people can still get around the back there, eh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, no problem. Go around the back. Hopefully none of them will decide to park right beside me. Those guys are parked way further forward than me. See, I want to park a little further back to give uh, people room to get into that lineup if they want to, so they can pull around there. Yeah, I think I'm fine here. I'll just leave it. All right, we're gonna get up first thing in the morning. They open at 8 a.m. just down the road. I want to be there at quarter two. I want to get unloaded as early as I can so that uh, I can get going. I don't know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow yet, but whatever it is, I want to be ready for it as early as possible. So thanks for hanging out, everybody. Another day is done. Another day in the books, another day on YouTube. Tomorrow will be another day, so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Down below my video, you can hit the subscribe button there, hit the bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. It'll give you a little notification when they go live. Remember when you're out there on the road to drive safe, keep your eyes on the road, your stick on the ice, keep your head up, and we'll see you tomorrow.